What is going on, everyone? Today we're going to be looking at a game called Dead District. And, uh, I've been playing for a little bit, uh, I don't know, like a couple hours. I, in the past couple of games I've been playing, they've been off to a slow start. But this one actually seems like you get a pretty quick start. Uh, I should say the last couple of games I've been looking at recently. Uh, I've already filled up my inventory. This is probably about, I don't know, like an hour's worth of playtime. But I figured I'd uh, bring you in. Uh, I also... I don't know if there's a way to mark the map. Uh, and I'm not even sure where I am on the map. <laughs> I guess... No, that's a town. Oh, there I am. So... I guess I started over in this area, and I've traveled over to uh, here. So there was something I started building over there, but that's, I guess, long gone. I could go back to it at any point, I guess. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to bring you in. We're going to take a look at this, and we're going to... Oh, okay. <laughs> we're going to play through it. Um, it is a survival... Oh, no space for... No space for items. Uh, oh, I can only hold ten berries at a time. I should probably look into building... Uh, something. Uh, but one of the things I guess you can also do is uh, we can set our waypoint here and move in the direction of the town. So let's go and check out this town. So what? Uh, collect resources. Oh. So I guess I can just keep collecting all of these resources. I'm not even... So even if I have no space, it still counts as me collecting them. So collect wood. <laughs> oh, it's all right there, too. Oh, I guess it's not. All right, whatever. Um, <laughs> I didn't think... Because uh, I thought I had completed that uh, quest already to collect resources. Uh, I guess you can keep collecting them. Or it does not hold your level when you save. So we made it. And we can see the town right over here. Okay, interesting. I don't think you can build your town in a town. <laughs> oh, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Oh, must be equipped to be held. Alright. Ooh, what do we got in here? Probably, oh, nothing. <laughs> So one of the things I've noticed about this is um, I've not uh, what is it? oh it take if <laughs> it put the custom waypoint on there. Uh, one of the things I've noticed about this game is it looks very similar to a game called No One Survived, and the character looks like he is very similar to. Oh, we got ourselves a knife? I think I already got... No, I have a baseball blade. But the main character looks like he's a... I, I don't want to say like a generic survival playable character. <laughs> well, we already got a mask. But I guess that's just how it goes with these survival games. And I've not necessarily played a survival game quite like No One Survived. I've watched a lot of playthroughs of it. And it does look very interesting. Well, we can just hop the fence, I suppose. Oh, 
don't need to open doors. You just walk right through them. I definitely hear zombies. We better equip the heavy hitter. Oh, there you are. Oh. I didn't even... Oh, my gosh, I'm stuck. Uh... Yeah, I died. Um, <laughs> random respawn. I, I, got, I got stuck, and it wouldn't let me uh, continue. Oh, no. So, where did I respawn at? Oh, I'm on the opposite side of the map. Um, so, uh, I suppose... That's how it goes with these survival games, is you die and you drop all your stuff. I'm not a big fan of that. I like to keep... I kind of like to keep my stuff, uh, so that way... I mean, personally, I like to keep my stuff. Uh, and then when you do a random respawn, it's like, oh, I am completely on the opposite side of the map, and I don't know if there's any, like, a timer on that. But it's like, you, if you die, it's like starting all over again. So, not necessarily my favorite thing in a game, but we'll, we'll see what we can do to make it work. Can I set my marker there? That is a long way away. And we'll spend this episode going back and, uh... Checking out. Uh, if it's... If my body's gonna stay there and I'll be able to recover it. If not, I guess I could just load back into before I died. Yeah, not necessarily the most fun. Well, uh, I suppose uh, we can check out what's over here. Because when you have something like that, in my opinion, uh, at least, uh, you it takes you out of the game to go and find your stuff instead of enjoying the game it becomes more of okay now i'm not necessarily playing the game i'm just going to recover my body with all my stuff on it and these guys are probably going to kill me Okay, he's running away from me. I guess he saw his friend get, uh, destroyed. Oh, yeah, I'm taking bleeding damage. Um, <laughs> I guess some doors you have to open and some doors you can't open. Can I find any health anywhere? Uh, I'm pretty sure I was just in here. I 
guess we can do that. <laughs> but overall, I mean, this is pretty entertaining, pretty fun, I guess. Uh, we got some berries and we got a barrel hammer. Okay. Is that a weapon? No, I guess it needs to be equipped, so that way I can do this. Can I switch? Oh, it is literally... A hammer that is a barrel. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, we'll do the ball blade. Oh, cannot remove held item. Oh. Wait. We'll put that away. We'll bring that here. Oh, why did the axe turn into the hammer? So, I mean, I guess it's uh, it's looking a little buggy here. Can we do this instead of that? Or maybe I'm just stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the me just being stupid. So if you guys have played No One Survived, or if you've played this uh, Dead District, uh, what are your thoughts on it? What are your views? What do you think about it? Uh, I'm curious. I mean, I'm not... Ooh, we got some clothes. That'll work. I'm not necessarily against it. I think it is still early access, though. So there is still a lot that can be done with it. And, I mean, this is just the beginning of what we're actually getting to see. I guess I can't get out that way. Can we not? Oh, that's what I thought. Wait, I thought I had... Yeah, why... Why wasn't it letting me stack them? Oh, shoes are nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I died. <laughs> so, let's see if it keeps... Oh, so all of my bodies stay on the map. And I keep spawning at different locations. Uh, nothing in here. So I guess if you're... I guess if you're uh, just starting out, one thing you, you could do is just die a bunch of times because it looks like you get a free axe every time you die. So I guess die a bunch of times, have some bodies all over the map, and then just go and find your bodies and collect all those free axes. But I guess it doesn't... Uh, I guess I suppose... Uh, oh, we got a car here? What is this? Night vision device? Oh, we got a bunch of cars over here, too. But, yeah, not typically the style of game I play, but I'm not, uh... I'm not disliking it. Ooh, anti-rad mask? I just... Where's 
wish there was a little something more I could do. Can we do that? We got a couple of bullets here. Can I switch to this? Okay. Now, what else do we have? I saw that there is crafting as well, uh, but I've not gotten too into the crafting. So you can make a backpack, but you need cloth. Cloth and rope. I have some rope. I don't have any cloth. Helmets, armor, a hat. Uh, you can make healing items. Again, I don't have cloth. Uh, you can make guns. That's pretty interesting. I don't have any of that. So to make cloth, you can use plant fiber, but I don't have any plant fiber. I can turn rope into cloth. I can turn wood into sticks. I can turn... No, I can turn... Yeah, sticks into ropes, I should say. But I'm... Or not, not sticks into ropes. Yeah, it's... Ten, wait, ten logs makes five sticks? Um, you would think that ten wood would get you much uh, more sticks. Anyways, that's, that's just some crafting. Um, you can make your ammo, guns, and I guess this is just everything. So you can make your axes, you can make a hammer... And we're getting a good bit of the map explored. It'd be interesting to find, um, or to actually build a, uh, a base out here as well, too. I am curious about base building. Because if there's anything I... Oh. There's a guy over there. He looks like a big guy, too. Or maybe he has multiple guys. Uh, I don't... Oh yeah, he's a big guy. Who wants to who wants to see me get killed by the big guy? Oh. He gotta be some sort of boss. Look at his hand. Why are you running away from me? You're gonna like destroy me. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, it's a symbiote. I'm I I, I don't know why I picked a fight with Venom. Or Carnage. Oh. oh, a mutant? I beat him? <laughs> Alright, I mean... Yeah, we'll heal back up. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, he was not as scary as I thought he was. Uh, to those of you uh, that were waiting for me to take another death in in this game, uh, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disappoint. Uh, <laughs> I was just too much for him. He couldn't handle me, and I uh, I kicked his little bitch ass. Is what I did. All these guys are running away because they saw what I did. What do you guys got on you? Oh. That's right, I have not... I don't have enough inventory space. Oh, this, uh... Freaking thing that I have is... Oh, I'm bleeding, aren't I? Yeah. Is that heavy bleeding? Or is that just bleeding? Eat. 
Oh, it won't re it won't refill health. <laughs> so yeah. I can find in here any enemies that need to be defeated uh, no we got some raspberries though uh, so that should help with hunger and thirst it does not help however with health or bleeding There's a chest in here. I was kind of looking for more berry bushes. Can I put this on? Okay. Get the mask out of here. Take the sign. I think the sign can be used as a weapon. But I think I need to have it equipped. Yeah, item must be equipped to be held. Let's see if I can't make my way back to uh, my first dead body. No, my dead body's gone. Oh, no. All right. So it's going to be one of those where I need to find a base and start storing all, or I need to make a base and store all my stuff. So... Let's head over here. Let's see if I can't find any equipment. And I don't know, maybe uh, try to build a base. So yeah, it does look like your bodies disappear after a while, so that's not cool either. Um, I'm not gonna say it would make it would like it would make it unplayable. I won't say that, but it makes the game that much tougher. So now it becomes more of if you die, you don't. I mean, you don't go and find your uh, body in time, and you lose all that stuff, all your stuff. Airdrop will land soon. The location is indicated on your map. Alright. So, what do we have in the warehouse? I wonder if I could just, like, use this warehouse as, like, a base of operations, too. Oh, we got money. Oh, someone left a health drink in the garbage? So, let's go back to crafting. Uh, code lock, can't play a plot pole? I don't have enough... I don't have enough uh, wood to make that yet, so let's... Uh, 
Start gathering some wood? Oh, sticks I don't have enough space for. some more. Don't worry. And we're just going to see if we can, after we knock this tree down, we're just going to see if we can get that uh, plot pole. Um, I think I think your items have durability as well. So yeah, uh, it doesn't display a health bar on them uh, in the hot bar here, but if you scroll over uh, on the very bottom, you know, uh, the stone axe, it says 159 of 200. So we will eventually run out of the stone axe. But that is fine, I suppose. Uh, can we get more raspberries? And let's craft the plot pole. Oh, I'm going to need... Drop that. I didn't mean to make two of them. Uh, it won't. Will it? Oh, yeah. I cannot craft insufficient items. Okay. So we're going to put this here. We're going to go four. And we'll put our plot, uh, plot pole. Not place build here. Oh, so I guess. Cannot place build part here. Um, why not? Maybe it's because it's part of uh, that area. But if I can make it close. Added as owner. And then, uh, I guess uh, that'll do it for... I suppose that'll do it for this episode. I'm just trying to see, look around here. Uh, we have uh, doors. We, it doesn't seem like we have any kind of walls yet. Maybe that's something you can find later on. You can get some storage, you can build a bed, uh, traps, barricades, water collectors, generators, everything. You can normally build in a survival game. But it looked pretty interesting. I picked it up uh, on the I picked it up on the Steam store. I think it was like eight or nine dollars. And uh, you know, I've kind of been enjoying it. So if you guys are interested in uh, seeing more of this or following the series, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then, you guys take it easy.